Welcome once again to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. As always, I thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, which I hope you will find the book I'm about to review for you informative, and perhaps when you go to your local bookstore, you will seek it out. The book is The Psychopath, A True Story by Mary Turner Thompson. This is published by Little A, and it retails for $21.99. Um, apparently this book uh, is a sort of sequel to um, a book that the author wrote back, um, I think it was 2007 or 2008, called The Bigamist. And uh, those, uh, there's been c comments that this book is um, unnecessary because it pretty well details what was in the first book. Well, uh, I did not read the first book, so I cannot comment on The Bigamist. But with this book, uh, The Psychopath, uh, it's a very interesting story. It really um, details, well, people have said for decades now, ever since the internet came into being, that uh, online dating is uh, unpredictable because you never know who you're going to meet. Well, the author, Mary Turner Thompson, uh, did do online dating back in the year 2000. And she started to correspond with a gentleman by the name of Will Jordan. He seemed very nice. Um, there were no red flags. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary. And eventually the two met and uh, the two had a very serious relationship. Um, she loved him. And they married in 2002. Now they did have two children. And uh, as she found out bit by bit, uh, well, they say the bloom is off the rose. Well, the relationship sort of floundered because she started hearing inconsistencies in what he told her. First, he said he worked for the CIA and uh, he was worried, you know, people might, you know, follow her and kidnap her. And there were all, all sorts of excuses that he made during the relationship. And he had a way of spending a lot of her money. So uh, he talked about, you know, all the money that he had, which he really didn't have. So as it turned out, uh, she found out that he was actually married to another woman and uh, the other woman had five children. In fact, he found out there were several women in his life and uh, it just he just seemed to bounce from woman to woman to woman. So um, she finally came to her senses and um, actually uh, he was charged in uh, 2006 uh, he did go to jail, um, actually, I think it was supposed to be for 42 months, and he served his time, but uh, once he came out, guess what? He was back to his old ways again. So what Mary Turner Thompson has been doing is uh, trying to contact the women and warn them and um, sort of start a, like, a um, well-defense league of sorts to warn the women that Will Jordan, actually who has gone by many names, she's found out that he has many aliases. Um, in fact, she looked at his wallet once and uh, his, um, well, his identification was for a totally different name. But then again, he told her that he worked for the CIA, so she figured that maybe he had undercover aliases. And uh, the book is really um, fascinating how one person can be such a con artist. And actually, he was also um, had to register as a sexual predator. He, he was a pedophile. And uh, let's just say the man was bad news from start to finish. And it took, well, Mary Turner Thompson a long time to actually realize this, that Will Jordan was far from who he said he was. He was out to con women and he had a huge string of women. Uh, she wasn't the only victim. Like I said, the other woman who he was married to at the same time that he married her uh, had five children. So there were many other children that he loved them and he left them. He And he left them with child. He didn't care. He just, you know, uh, con artistry was really in this man's blood. So uh, he truly, it was um, a sociopath, a psychopath. Uh, he, he was also um, abusive to her uh, verbally 
and uh, he was someone who, well, he left a trail of um, bad vibes from 2000 when he met, you know, Mary, and uh, he left her, and then, you know, other women after he served his jail sentence. So, uh, as Mary Turner Thompson says, she assumes that he's he he is still out there doing the same thing uh, at this very moment that he is back to his old ways and unless he's caught and stopped once and for all uh, this will continue because bad habits are hard to break and a con man is not someone who reforms easily so if you're looking for a very interesting change of pace book the psychopath a true story is definitely one that um, you'll find most interesting so that's the book i wanted to draw to your attention today hopefully you will seek it out at your local bookstore and let me know if you agree with my review. So, until we meet again, and of course we will, because I read books for a living. So, uh, stay safe, stay sane, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.